Good afternoon my friends and happy Monday. It's the 19th of September today and I hope you're all doing well. I hope you all had a lovely weekend. I celebrated my birthday this weekend. It was my 35th birthday on Saturday and I had a really nice day celebrating with my family. We went up to a place called is it Medlo Bath? Is that, is that where it is? Well, I don't know. It's a place up in the Blue Mountains. It's There's a really nice sort of old boutique-y type hotel called the Hydro Majestic. And they do a really lovely high tea there. Very, very fancy high tea. And it has like this spectacular view of the... I think it's the Megalong Valley. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just went there and ate food. So... <laughs> But yeah, we spent uh, the day up in the Blue Mountains um, having high tea at this fancy hotel place and then we went and saw um, this famous rock formation called the Three Sisters up at Katoomba. And yeah, it was just a really lovely day. Just hanging out with family and eating lots of good food and... Um, celebrating birthdays. I'm not the biggest fan of celebrating my birthday. I think it's just because of my introverted nature. I'm just sort of like, thanks. Uh, that's it, really. Um, like I don't really, yeah, I'm not really into like making a fuss or anything like that. So, but yeah, it was a nice weekend and uh, yeah, that's all I could say about it. <laughs> I get really awkward about it as well. So anyway, let's move on. So today I'm dusting off the embroidery machine and I'm going to do a new embroidery on a jumper that I, I received for my birthday. It's a sort of like zip up type hoodie thing with the zipper at the front. Oh, I'm not showing this very well. Zipper at the front and it's just a plain pink jumper that my parents got me and I was like I'm gonna put a design on that and make it like personalized and they're like yeah go for it so that's what I'm gonna do today I cannot believe how soft and like lovely this jumper is <laughs> it's so nice so I have picked out a design I got it from a website called pixie dust embroidery designs I think that's what it's called I have done an embroidery design from that website before if you remember the vlog where I did the colourful Mickey head on a another pink jumper. Um, <laughs> the um, the colour of my wardrobe is beginning to become quite clear. I'm wearing pink. I have a pink hoodie and I've also done a pink jumper. But yeah, if you remember the pink jumper that I did the Mickey head on, that was a design from this website. So I'm giving it a second chance. That design went really, really well. So I'm assuming this one will go good as well. But I've chosen... A design from that website and it's the Walt Disney World castle and it's got like little Mickey balloons to the side. I'm not going to deny it, I am a Disney tragic so I'm making another piece of clothing with a Disney on it. So before I get the sewing machine out and set it all up, I'm going to choose my colours for the design and uh, get that all ready and finalised and then we'll get into it and hopefully it'll work out well. So this is the little design I've chosen. It's just a really sweet little castle and then it's got little Mickey balloons to the side. I think it's going to look really, really sweet. So I'm going to do similar colours. I'm trying to go more for like a pastel type vibe, but not too pastel because I want the design to pop out on the pink. It's got 13 colour changes, uh, so I'm just going to choose stuff that's like similar to it and then we'll get into it.
here we go, fresh off the press, so to speak. I still need to cut all of the jump stitches away, but it looks pretty good. I'm really happy with it. It's actually a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. I don't know, I always think they're going to be tiny, but I actually thought it was going to be like half the size, but... Anyway, it is what it is. For those of you who are interested at home, I put a Solvi stabilizer on the top, so this will just wash away. And then on the back, I've used just a cutaway stabilizer. Both of these are usually best for stretchy sort of knit fabrics. And look who we have inside. Hello, what are you doing? Are you okay? Can you say hello? <laughs> Sit down. Good. You say hello to everyone. Everyone's been asking about you. Mm, gorgeous as ever. You heard his nose the other day. Sticky beaking, I think. And now he's got like this little scar on his nose. Getting into trouble. Big nosy. Hey, big nosy puppy, aren't you? You gorgeous boy. Who's the gorgeous boy? Yeah. Good boy. Where's the gorgeous boy? Where's the gorgeous boy? Where's the gorgeous boy? <laughs> hey puppy. So here we go. This is what it looks like when it's on. It sits like perfectly. Happy days. That looks so good. It looks really nice in the sun too. Yeah. Oh, good afternoon my friends and happy Tuesday it's the 27th of September and I hope you're all doing well so I have just come back from my holiday I went on a really short little cruise over the weekend and I will be sharing all of that footage I did vlog it in the next vlog so I might like at the end of this vlog put in some like little highlights for you just to sort of like tease what's coming in my little holiday vlog but yes I came home yesterday and I had a really nice lovely time so I thought I would just finish this vlog before putting out um, my next vlog I actually have a few more things to share with you for this vlog I have a really fun like Mickey Mouse Disney haul it's actually it's actually all Mickey Mouse stuff some of it I got for my birthday some of it is like a birthday present that I for myself you know as you do and then a couple of other things are just like little bargain things that I've been able to pick up recently that are Mickey Mouse because you know I am just quietly obsessed I don't know so before I do that I'm actually going to put my camera on charge because I haven't charged it since I've come back from holiday and the battery is going so I'm gonna plug it in and we'll uh, get into this haul there's lots of fun little things in there and I just really want to show you. Also, we've just had like a huge storm pass by. Like the rain was so heavy. And so now I have a pouting sad dog in my room with me because Charlie does not like thunder. He doesn't like the rain. He's not like a storm person. Um, so he's, he's having a, a, a pout in here with me. And talking about Charlie, Tomorrow it is his birthday, the 28th of September. He will be, I want to say six. Um, I really can't remember. <laughs> Charlie, you okay, puppy? Oh, you're all right, lovey. Come on, come give me cuddles. 
See what I mean by pouncing? He's like, no, I don't want to. I'm scared. Charlie, yeah, I see your tail wagging. Come give me cuddles. Come give me cuddles. Yeah, good boy. You are right. Oh, give me a paw. Yeah, good boy. You're okay. The noise is gone. <laughs> He'll be okay. Majority of the thunder and noise has gone away, so he'll be alright. He'll just sort of have a nice afternoon sleep inside and uh, just get over it, really. Anyway, I'm going to plug it in and we'll get into our haul. Right, you are all plugged in, so we shouldn't have any issues. I might also just put the light on because it is a little bit dark. Come on, light. Come on. Hello. Come on, it's a touch light, so, ah, oh, there we go. Hello! Alright, so, getting into our haul, I'm going to start with one of the things I got for my birthday. So this is from my mum and dad, and it's a really fun Mickey Mouse shirt, just a really cool basic black tee with good old Mickey Mouse. So that should be nice to wear this summer. I have some nice skirts I can wear this with, and, uh, you know, just represent... Good old Mickey boy there. Next is a bargain buy that I got from Aldi. If you didn't know, Aldi is like a German supermarket. It's really popular here in Australia. And they've always got like really great like special buys. Special buys. And they just do the most oddest stuff. And a couple of weeks ago they did like a huge sale on like sewing stuff. And they sold this pack of Fat Quarters. There's five in there and it's all like Mickey Mouse prints. So we got that one. This one, that one's really cool, I like that one. I really like this one, I think that would make a really cool scrunchie. And then this top one here. So this cost me $10. I know that Spotlight sells like fat quarters like this and they're usually like $30 plus. So when these come on sale at Aldi, you, you gotta snap them up because it's just so cheap. They did have like Harry Potter versions, I think they had Disney Princess and something else but I can't remember but I wanted the Mickey Mouse one so nice bargain I will add that to the pile of other Disney licensed special fabrics that I've got this next thing is something I actually brought today I got this at Big W Big W is like an Australian version of like Target or Kmart and they have all of their Christmas stuff out which is insane it's, it's not even October. They've got Christmas and Halloween stuff out together and it's just, it's a trip. It's crazy. But I picked up the last little Mickey Mouse head bauble and it rattles. I just thought it was so cute. It was like the first thing I saw. I was like, thank you. And it was the only one I saw. So I was very happy with that. First Christmas purchase for the year and I will add that to my collection of my ever-growing Disney Christmas ornaments. So, happy days! Then the last two things are like two of the biggest bargains that I have, I think, ever bought in my life. Just recently, Australia slash Asian region got a Shop Disney website. Previously, I've shopped on the UK online website, but now Australia has one. Well, Asia, anyway. And recently, for their Disney Plus day, they had 30% off the website. And so, I picked up one of the biggest bargains in the world, I think. I got this really cool, it's not leather, it's like fake leather, I think. It's a really cool red backpack. Ta-da! And it's got Mickey on the front, it's got a zipper up the top, it's really super roomy. There's a zipper here at the front. But this was already on sale for, I think it was close to usually $40, and then it was on sale for already down to something and then it was another 30% on top of that so I got this for $18 which is insane <laughs> I couldn't believe it I was like that's not right surely that's not right but it was and so I got it I've been in the market for like a, just a, a cool little backpack like this nothing too small nothing too big something I can take on like day trips or anything like that not that I really go anywhere but <laughs> but it's just nice to have the option of this and to go along with this I also got this little like 
keychain thing. And again, this was on sale as well. I think I got it for like $5 or something, and it was usually like $15. I think. I really can't remember. But I got it cheap. It's really awesome quality. It's super thick, really heavy. So it's got Mickey and 28 because that's the year that he was born, made, created. 1928. And then it's got a little hand up there and then a the little hardware to attach it to a bag. So I'm thinking of maybe adding it onto there. My current handbag doesn't really have anything to kind of like hook accessories onto, which is really annoying. But yeah, I was so happy with that purchase from Shop Disney Australia. Biggest bargain ever. I think it cost me more in postage than it did the actual products altogether. But yeah, that's my little Mickey Mouse Disney haul. I know that this vlog has been very Disney centered with my uh, jumper embroidery and now my Mickey haul. So I hope you don't mind. I love Disney. I love Mickey. You all know this. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed a little bit of a, a Disney vibey vlog. So I'm going to leave you here. I'm going to, uh, like I said, give you a little bit of sneak peek of the things that I got up to on my holiday and I will do my very best to get that vlog up as soon as possible after this one. I had a great time away. I went by myself, which is the first time I've gone on a cruise by myself. I have gone on holiday by myself before, but this is like the first time cruising on my own. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I had to put my big girl pants on and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. As always, thank you all so much for joining me and I will see you all again sometime very, very soon. Bye-bye.